Hello friends, so it's okay and welcome to Agatha Christie Murder on the Orient Express. The game just came out today and I'm really excited about it because Agatha Christie is one of my favorite authors from all time. I did read the story, I don't really remember who was the murder. So good for me, good for you because we're gonna try to solve together this mystery because you know, in every Agatha Christie story, someone needs to die, unfortunately. And good for us, I guess, because now we can play this masterpiece. So yeah, without further ado, I hope you guys are going to enjoy it as much as I will. And let's get into the game. Oh. Tokatian Hotel, Istanbul, December 15, 2023. Oh, so it's like... Um, it's like... Uh, like Hercule Poirot, but like in our times. <laughs> it's like the story, but in 2023. Amazing. I might move my camera if I need to. The development you predicted in the Kastner case happened unexpectedly. Please come back immediately. How can it be unexpected if I have predicted it? Poirot, my friend. Bonjour. Is that you? Is it me? The one and only. I honestly thought, uh, go to Miss Book at the reception desk. Okay. I honestly <laughs> thought that Quaro will be, let's say, uh, older. Because in my mind, when I wrote those riddle stories, uh, Hercule Poirot was like older, like let's say, uh, 60, 70. Wow. Bonjour. Is it truly you, my friend? Book. Me. It is indeed me. What brings you so far from home? A little affair in Syria. An affair of the heart? No, no. Okay. A modest affair of recovering stolen artifacts. But now I am summoned home to England and must leave immediately. This evening? You travel on the Orient Express, I hope. I have made no arrangements yet, as I just learned that an emergency has arisen, and I must return to England immediately. Very well. It will be my pleasure to secure you a sleeper on the Orient Express. Oh, if the thank director you. of the line insists, I accept with pleasure. And we'll dine together, for I too depart this afternoon. We'll have plenty of time to catch up. I'll have the hotel transfer our luggage. Good for us, I guess. Hi. Excuse me, sir. You are the director of the line. The Princess Dragomirov would like to know if she may keep her mina in her compartment on the train. Uh, good morning, Princess. Is she a it vampire? It is an honor to welcome you aboard. There is absolutely no problem for your pet. You will ask about his food? Oh, yes. The Princess Dragomirov would like to know if there is food for minas on board. Insects? Uh, Small amphibians, baby oh. rodents. Oh, baby rodents. I hope not. Of course, princess. Don't worry. Your bird will be fed as you demand. What kind of birds do you have? Like it's a vulture? <laughs> you oh, you look sketchy. Yes, Clark. One moment, sir. Listen to me. Call the police. My train ticket has been stolen. Stolen? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. By you who? travel by the Orient Express, monsieur? Arbuthnot, Captain Archibald Arbuthnot, formerly British Army, now retired. And yes, I'm taking the Orient Express to Paris. But what business is that of yours? My name is Book. I am the director of the line at your service. And perhaps this gentleman could assist you. He is Hercule Poirot. I... oh. Uh, but I must make that train. <laughs> A train ticket. Yesterday, I recovered artifacts worth several million. This should be Please, easy job friend. for us. It's not just any ticket. It's an Orient Express ticket. Very well, I will investigate. Let's Thank you, investigate, my friend. I will arrange a car to Sirkechi station for us. All right. The stolen ticket. Okay. Cool. Minimap. Ah, talk to Captain Arbunot. The stolen ticket. Okay, got it. Even if the task is beneath me, the little graces must be exercised. I will offer my help. All right. Let's help the guy that had his uh, stuff stolen. Honestly, I think that 
her uh, her queer power has uh, like a French but British accent. It's just, just me. How do you know your ticket has been stolen? Monsieur? And you didn't. I put it on a table in my room. I came down here to breakfast, and when I got back, my ticket was gone, and other things were on the floor, as if they'd been tossed about. Hello, monsieur. I suggest we begin in your room. Will you lead the way? Let's go. New note. How to find a ticket. Okay. So... Talk to Captain. What is this? How to find a ticket. Search. What can be done to find the captain's ticket? Connect the element to the left with those on the right. Oh, okay. What is this? Search. Interrogate. Yeah, interrogate the neighbors. Inspect the room and... This is wrong. No, wait. But I'm never far from the truth. Yeah, it's it. so search the room. Inspect the door and interrogate the neighbors yes that's what, what i wanted to do et voila. et voila easy peasy i like it it has like a childish uh, art stuff it's not really like sherlock you know but it doesn't supposed to be like sherlock so hi she's important because the close-up, <laughs> the camera close-up, tells us she's Hello, important. Captain Arbuthnot. Fourth floor. Oh, one mystery solved. <laughs> Easy. Uh, okay. Press the fourth floor. I really suppose lovely. I can exercise my powers of observation while we wait. Power of observation. Nationality. Oh, wait, he's British, right? Uh, he's retired, 45, and he was the retired captain. Nice. My little grey cells did not let me down. Not this time. Character analyzed a special workshop uh, workshops. Once completed, the analyzed character will appear on the character step menu. Okay. Cool. So, he is 52 years old. He's Belgian. Director of Vegan List Company. 45 British retired captain. Cool. Not really important stuff, but I guess it will come in handy sometime. <laughs> I guess. Bonjour, monsieur. You look like you are rich. Um, yeah... Very rich. My room's along here. 411. On my way, so... In a hotel of this quality? A thief. A thief. Maybe someone like targeted you. Come on, you. come on, don't dawdle. Like, maybe... It'll be a disaster if I miss that train. Why? Why it would be? Why you have locked be? the door, monsieur? Naturally. This is a foreign country. You have the key card? Of course. We will enter. Can we enter now, please? Et voila. The room is... The lock has not been tampered with. So that means... Uh, somebody had the key. Card. Not this one. So maybe... Someone that, you know, works, maybe, for the hotel. Hmm, interesting. Perfume? What is this? A perfume bottle. Empty. Suggestive. Hmm, interesting. Most of the time, like, you're not... Ooh, nice shower. Very nice shower. What is that? Water? Please don't hmm. taste it. I paid the trip become human. Traces of soap. The water is scented. The perfume. The perfume. The perfume. Why did it drop the perfume though? Mm. 
a fake mustache. I mean, thank you. Apparently, it's a another delightful trophy for my collection. Thank you. We have a golden mustache. The bed is skillfully made. So that means somebody came here. Oh, this earring. It is not the first time I've seen it, but where? The lady. Wasn't this from the lady from the elevator? Did you had an affair? You. Some money. The wallet is somewhat warm. It contains just over two hundred dollars and the usual cards. Can we steal a hundred? Hmm. Saint Sophia. Hmm, a fact sheet from a tour of Saint Sophia. Interesting. A two. All right. Let's see what we have here. Istanbul. Lovely. A brochure for this fascinating city. Um. Okay. Is it something? No, I don't. Um. Good. Choco bars, nice. I have one. <gasps> the mustache. Aha, oh, yeah. Golden mustache. Nice. All right. Um, really nothing of interest here. To be fair, but something here. What is this? Oh. The conspicuous gallantry cross for meritorious service in Iraq. Yet he only retired as a captain. I mean, he didn't say what kind of captain. He could have been like, no, 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 not this. I wanted that. Yes. What is this? No, no, no. All fields below are mandatory. A stamped reservation for the Bosphorus ferry. But he didn't send it. Interesting. What is this? First bank. A list of travel expenses. But how did these papers end up on the floor? You spend a lot of money. You spend a lot of money, sir. The bed is skillfully made. Yes. Four floors. It's impossible for a thief to have exited through the window. Or enter. Maybe for enter. Floors. It's impossible for the bed. Maybe enter. What else? Oh yeah, we saw that. Hmm. Okay, let's put some things together. Maybe we can find some clues. A thief may have entered through the window. A thief may have first the hall door. He used the key card. He used the key card. That's the right answer. Yes, that's for sure. That is for sure. Okay. Uh, the train ticket is not in the room. Yep, it's not here. What else? Uh, oh, we need to interrogate. Okay. Mm, I kind of like this thing. It's kind of easy to do stuff. Only one person could have entered the room. Mm, maybe... It was somebody he hooked up with. I'm <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying. I don't want to be rude or something, but like, sir. Uh, can we talk? Breakfast. How long were you at breakfast, Captain? A half an hour who? or so. Just a roll and some coffee. Okay. Um, neighbors. Neighbors. Hello. Anybody? Go away, please. A brief word, sir. I will give you two brief words. Go away. Why are you monsieur, so mean? I've been traveling all night from New York. Must I call the management? Pardon, monsieur. I do not believe we have awakened a thief. Mm, nope. How about the other? Please clean up my room. The room is apparently empty. I will leave it for the moment. For the moment. All right. Uh, what else? Talk to the captain. 
I have found several interesting things in the room I should discuss with the captain. Like, um... Like the earring? How about you talk about the earring? <laughs> was there an earring in your room? An earring? Yes. A previous guest, I suspect. I don't wear them. You sure about that? Did you leave the window open? No. That must be how the thief escaped. I don't I think, think not. so. Unless the thief had wings. The bed is very neatly made, but the corners are not military style. The price we paid for this hotel? I'm not going to make my own bloody bed. Interesting pronoun, that. We. Oui. I get you with something. How could the ticket have disappeared? The captain invited someone. A lady. Uh... Yes. A woman spent the night in the room, exactly. The papers are on the floor, so that means this was open. The wind blew up the papers, yes. So, conclude. The wind probably blew the papers on the floor as it came in through the window. Moreover, the door is closed. And I found an earring on the bedside table. The captain invited a woman into his room. Maybe she is our culprit. Maybe. That was easy. Wait. All right. Uh, what is this? Who is the woman? I think it's her. This is wrong. No. But I'm never far from the truth. For sure, it's not her. Oh! My little gray cells did not let me. I wasn't down. really paying attention to the woman. What is this? Injections allow to draw on conclusion. I think the woman, the captain, is pretty so the, the ticket. I think that the wind blew the ticket from the desk. I'm not really that sure, but it could be. Question the captain. Yep. So, how about we talk about the, women, the woman in the in the elevator? Captain Arbuthnot, I have examined your room. Much was revealed, possibly more than you expected. Rest Maybe assured, didn't want that. we will soon find your ticket. It's about bloody time. I have a train to catch. Same. As do I. Same. You are traveling on the Orient Express. Of course. Mm -hmm. If you will be good enough to answer a few questions, we may both make our train. Ask away. Please, give me an account of your movements yesterday. I spent most of my day in Istanbul, sightseeing. I returned to the hotel as the sun was setting. The desk clerk can confirm I was alone when I picked up my key. I spent the night alone. I had no visitors in my room. Are you sure about that? You are lying, sir. You had visitors. Have you told me the entire truth, Captain Arbuthnot? Of course. I want you to find my ticket. Maybe. Can you explain the earring I found on the bedside table? I'm not earring. buying it. Ah. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, forgive me, Mr. Poirot. I had some business correspondence that wanted answering. The hotel provides help for business travelers. They sent up a secretary. Uh-huh. I dictated a letter and she mailed it for me. If I you're lying to me, I can help you. Hearing. And when did you invite this uh, secretary? This woman may be the thief we are looking for. That was yesterday evening. My ticket was still there when I went down to breakfast. She can't have taken it. Hmm. I see. Never mind. It is easily checked. And uh, there was no other person in your room? No, I swear there wasn't. Ah, well, never mind. If it is not her, there is only one option left. Fine. Please finish your job quickly. I'll be downstairs in the lobby. So that means the wind blew out your ticket. That means... If you are telling the truth, my sir... Ask the desk clerk. Okay, we can go there and... Yeah. So, he doesn't really want to talk about the woman, which is interesting. 
but let's uh, let's go in as the desk clerk. Yes, for sure. Very nice hotel, though. Oh yeah, I remember the woman I chose first had earrings that were green. Yeah, <sighs> she had green earrings. All right, clerk, bonjour. Uh, I need the uh, information, s'il vous plaît. Pardon, monsieur. May I inquire when the staff begins cleaning the rooms? Every morning at breakfast time, sir. At After breakfast making time. certain there are no guests in the room, of course. Mm. May I speak with the chambermaid who cleaned room 411 this morning? I hope you don't think that one of our staff stole the ticket. No. No, 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 no. Do not distress yourself. We seek only information. Hmm. I will summon her at once. Thank oh, you. I'd ask her to bring her laundry cart. Bonjour, madame. I think you have some information for me. What is that? Hotel Tocatlian. Luxury hotel. Nice. Uh, hello. Do not be frightened, mademoiselle. Did you clean room 411 this morning? Room 411? Yes, that is one of mine. The ticket. Did you see a ticket on the desk when you entered the room? I I'm sorry, I, I didn't notice a ticket. There was a wallet, but of course I did not touch it. Did the window. You open the window? Yes, we always air the rooms. Oh, but I forgot to close the window. While I was making the bed, the person from next door was pounding on the wall. I wondered if he needed assistance. I tossed the dirty sheets in my cart, quickly finished mopping, and went to see. But it was nothing. But mm, interesting. I'm afraid I left the window open. I'm so sorry. The window left open, papers scattered on the floor. The chambermaid cleaning the room. I believe I can now visualize what happened. The ticket flew. Well, thank you, madame. Can I search? Waho is not going to touch the dirty laundry. You are a gentleman, sir, and I get you. All right, reconstruction of the scene. So, um, let's see. She opened the window. Uh, the wind blew the ticket. She made the bed. Mm, can I move? No. Okay. Uh, no. She put this here. She made this. The ticket flew in the cart. Maybe like this? No. Like this. No, no, no. No? Not good. So, she opened the window. She put the cart behind the desk. She changed the bed line. Mm. Oh, maybe she put the cart first and then she opened the window. Ah, that was it. That was easy. I'm not touching that though. The ticket is in the laundry cart. Okay, let's explain it to him, but aren't we gonna give it to him? Where is the captain? Uh oh. Hello, why are you standing here? Like you're kinda weird. Mademoiselle, would you be so kind as to look in the sheets from room 411? Please, mademoiselle. There it is. And so the missing train ticket completes its strange journey. An open window, a laundry cart, and an annoying neighbor. But chance is the only guilty party in this dark mystery. <laughs> Mr. Poirot, I apologize. For what? I believe my concern got the better of me, and I forgot myself. Thank you. It was a case of great magnitude. I'm glad I was up to the challenge. And I'm glad I could help. And that, I think, is that. Good job. 
our fir first mission completed we can now go to to the train yeah leave the hotel all right so it was a pleasure goodbye Poirot is out <laughs> our bags are all packed i have my ticket and papers if you give me yours i'll hang on to mine Heard those but guys. as your secretary as my secretary you see to the bags hector yes yes sir that man i have a curious impression of him as if i were observing a wild animal <laughs> uncaged that's a very particular uh, peculiar observation peculiar we yes. must leave for the station our bags are in the taxi. Did you find the ticket? I it did. It was a case most difficult, but somehow Hercule Poirot managed. I knew you could do it. Now we can sit back and enjoy a relaxing train ride. Oh, will it be? Finish chapter zero. A mystery? No. A trifle for Poirot. Oh, would you look at this? Istanbul train station, December 15, 2023. 3 p.m. We arrived at our destination, and the train is really beautiful. It looks so, um, like... You are in regal? Regal? I don't know. No journey on this train is ever ordinary, but this is a special occasion. Oh, why? To celebrate the 140 years of the Orient Express, Happy the birthday? engine will be none other than the splendid Pacific 231G558. I don't know well, anything about trains, the but I trust you. Celebrated train in history. Beautiful. Lead the way, book. Lead the way, but this is it beautiful. It was built in France in 1922 by the Compagnie Batignol Châtillon. At oh. the time of its purchase by the SNCF in 1938, it could reach speeds up to 130 kilometers per hour. Damn, that's Wait amazing. Wait until you see. It is like traveling back in time. Today, the train is limited to 100 kilometers what? per hour. I assure you, that will be more than fast enough to get you to Paris in time for your connection to London. In the meantime, you will bask in the magic that is the Orient Express. Oh, thank you, my friend. Also, familiar faces from... Um, from uh, the... What do you call? From the hotel. Yes. What is this? A moment to savor, to see the famous locomotive after so many years. Beautiful. It's gonna be a ride, I tell you that. Hi! Oh! Aren't you... Mm. I thought she was the secretary, I might be wrong. But I also might be right. Alright! Oh! The train is calling, we need to go. Hello. Good evening, monsieur. Your compartment is number 202. However, I am afraid that all the others are already full. Full? But how can that be? It is incredible, monsieur. All the world elects to travel tonight. Oh, it's On a special same, you It's must a special find night. room for this gentleman here. <gasps> Wait, what? I can exercise my powers of observation while they try to find me a bed. He is a friend of mine. He can have number 201. It is taken. You. What? Why are you looking like that? Notice the young woman from the hotel. She again wishes to watch the old man with his little friend, but not to be seen herself. She's watching over the dude. Is everything aboard the train, Hector? In your compartment, Mr. Ratchet. I'm having them disinfect the room again, as you instructed. I also got a call from the Indians. The sale is going through as you expected. There was never any doubt. No other phone calls, Hector, from Geneva or Venice? No, sir. Who were you expecting? Never you mind. Check our a tickets. Woman. We're not going in until everything is confirmed. The of course, young man woman. seems quite agreeable, but the other... The older man is something quite different. I mean, he's the boss. You. Darling, we have to get aboard. I know, I know. I have heard of the phobia of fear of flying, but fear of trains? Now you're making fun of me. Never mind. We'll board shortly. 
once our compartment is ready. All right, something. Ooh, bonjour. Why did you order so much lobster, Hotaru? Lobster. My dear Freya, I fancy. For my speciality on the second night, and if the lobster a la mode isn't fresh, the passengers will know. We don't have enough space for my desserts. Tonight, molten chocolate cake. Tomorrow, my specialty. That is not my concern. They will not have room for them anyway. Serve your lobster tonight. Chicken a la mori must be the first night dish for the travelers. It is easier to digest. Ugh, you really are the egomaniac everyone says you are. I have every reason to be. I am the engine. You are just the caboose. Caboose? <laughs> I mean, at least the food will be amazing am i right did we watch everybody oh hi mary not now oh now. when it's all over when it's behind us then oh the woman with the earring nice well, i am mortified the 140th anniversary perhaps but such a plague of passengers. Am I gonna have a room though? Passenger, let's see. Passenger discussion. The young man feels what role in the relationship to the older man. His secretary. Right. Yep. Those are. What is the woman afraid of? Taking the train. Right. She doesn't like to take the train. How is this woman feeling? She's kind of worried. Brilliant. She's worried. I don't know what's the relationship between them, but so the chef. So what is their bone of contention? Uh storage in the refrigerator. Nice. They all want to have their own space. Who is this woman watching? Them. Well done. There, she's watching them. But who is she? I'm right again. That happens to me a lot. <laughs> You're kind of full of yourself, Mr. Paro, but we like it. <laughs> wow, we have a solution. A gentleman has not yet come. An who? Englishman, a Monsieur Harris. A name of good omen. It is already time to leave. What do I care for, Mr. Harris? As monsieur pleases, I had your things sent straight to your compartment. Unfortunately, you will be with another traveler. No. Only for the first night. It cannot be helped. I will survive, mon ami. Monsieur Book, we can't find enough space in the kitchen refrigerator to store all of my ingredients. How is it possible? What is in the fridge? are extravagant. We need to leave something on the platform. If my lobsters don't go, I don't go. And oh. have the passengers of the Orient Express go hungry? Never. I mean, you can leave without uh, dessert. Must I intervene? But... The problem is unworthy of the problem. But I do not intend to starve on the most luxurious train in the world. Exactly, we want the lobster. Come on. Thank you for coming to help us. It is impossible to fit everything into the Gary's refrigerator. Obviously, my entree are more important than dessert. I if mean... Mr. Mori delays his lobsters for a day or two, we can restock at another station. Delay? You ask me to delay? Freya? Calm yourself, my friend. I'm Why sure can you we can delay the solution. dessert? Is that a diagram of the refrigerator? Oh, May we're gonna be dead. Yes, he refuses to look at it. We're gonna play Tetris, my friend. All right. Uh, I don't know. Twenty-seven pastry chef. I don't know if she's American, Spanish, or like kind of looks Spanish. Think well, she's American. Is... Okay, you are American. Sorry, my bad. That's the right answer. All right. Uh, let's look. Paho can make it. I play Tetris a lot, okay, my friend? So don't you worry about it. Don't you swear about it. Pavo is here to hell. Um mm -hmm. 
Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh. Maybe. Can I? Oh. Oh no! I didn't want to do that. But maybe we need to do that. Maybe this is like this. How about that? It looks great. It looks absolutely amazing. Uh, what else? No. Oh! Mm, yeah, good. See, Paho can make it happen for all of you. There you go. Easy peasy. Yeah, voila. Voila. Save tomorrow night dinner. Mr. Poor, I will reserve the fight. Just for you. And we will get the best dish and ever. To the dessert, mademoiselle. Hopefully, that will be the last mystery you face on our journey, my dear Poirot. Oh. Your compartment for tonight only. You are so wrong is about that, my friend. The second class carriage, number 102. Tomorrow, you move to a private compartment. Thank you. I hope it's gonna be like a VIP. Let's go and see the room, and after that, I uh, will end this video. Hi! Welcome, Monsieur Paul. I apologize for the delay. Thank no you, worries, Monsieur my Michel. Friend. I am delighted you could accommodate me. Yes. Show my room, please. Very nice shows, bottle. All right, so room 100. Oh. Wrong compartment. I need to find number 102. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, this These is fancy. First class rooms are very spacious and luxurious. I want the first class room, please. This is really lovely. Wow. Can I move to one? Can we switch? Okay, hi. Can I move? Pardon me? Oh, Pardon? My apologies. Pardon? Thank you. Oh, a flower. A long compartment. I need to find number one oh I know, I know. I, I thought that you were gonna look at the flower. One oh this is the toilet. Kinda small, but I guess this is this is it on like uh the second class. I mean this is luxury too. Wow. This lady has a style of her own, eccentric but chic. She looks like those ladies that, you know, she has like, um, she's like, she had like a husband, he died and she's hella rich and like, she loves to like see the world, but also likes to drink, um, a tequila every morning. Oh, you need one of You found it, Paho. Oh, bonjour. Excuse me, I oh. think you made a mistake. You are Mr. Harris? No, my name is McQueen. Where is Harris? I there is no other berth on the train, monsieur. All is arranged. Yours is the upper berth. We start in one minute. The train's remarkably full. Yeah, it is. En voiture! Listen, sir, if you'd rather have the lower berth, easier and all that, well, that's all right by me. No, I'm no, not no, that no, old. No, you are too amiable. It is for one night only at Belgrade. Oh, I see. You're getting out of Belgrade. Not exactly. I'm gonna go to the VIP room. Nice. I enjoy this a lot. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's really beautiful. Look at that. <gasps> a cow! I saw cows! <laughs> Look at that. Welcome to the murder on the Orient Express. <laughs> we are at the Orient Express, but we didn't see the murder. Yet. I don't remember who died. A night had passed since the train departure from Istanbul. It's the evening of the second day of the journey. Do I have my own room now? Please. <laughs> Orient Express, December 16, 2023, 
What are you thinking of, Pavo? Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. Lobster or no, it was chicken. No, it's a chicken. Join right. the rest of the passengers in the dining car. Thank you. And the music. Sign me in. I want to go to an Orient Express. All right. But that would be for the first episode. I'm so excited about this game. I hope you are too. I hope you guys will enjoy it and will continue to to stay with me on this on this journey and to solve the case. We didn't see yet the murder, so next time I think we're gonna see it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, to subscribe if you're new, because to be so nice over here. And as always, I hope I can see you all on the next one. Bye.